Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're back today with E6 Connect Golf Simulator software and the recently integrated Foresight Sports. In this case, we have the GC Quad. If you haven't seen the initial videos we launched in the channel showing the chipping and putting and driving range, we showed Pebble Beach, some par threes, but now recently requested heavily by viewers, here's some on course play. We're out at Cabo del Sol. You guys get to see driver. You get to see me use two foot gimmies. That's what I have it set at right now. So it's going to be very challenging. But before we move on, I want to bring up two things that I clarified with E6 that you guys might need to know. Because I was speaking in the first video about licensing, and I talked about how I had an existing expanded license. So they can't add the unit to an existing license, okay? Most of you are going to be purchasing E6 for the first time if you're a you know, GC Quad or GC2 or GC Hawk owner. Um, so there's nothing to worry about. But if you're coming from another piece of hardware, Make sure you email me, I'll connect you with the right people, and they'll explain that process of how it has to be an individual license if you have an existing E6 license, okay? It can be done, and they can bring you through that process. The other thing is that uh, the launcher, the Foresight Sports launcher tool, I showed you guys how you connect the device, and then I talked about that Add Players button. What well, is necessary to add your players there? I wasn't certain on that, and you can kind of, I know I said I'm not quite sure if you, if you need to use this or not, and well, you do. I clarify that with them. You need to add your users there. That's how the integration works. Then you launch E6, okay? So just a few things to clarify. I always want to make sure I'm getting you guys the most accurate information, okay? And if you guys ever hear something that you question or, you know, something that I may not have answered in a video, feel free to email me. It's always pinned at the top of the comments and in the description, and we can get, you know, the right people involved to get the right answers, okay? So here we are. Uh, looks like we're well uphill. Uh, man, look how it's a really cool course. Cabo is a really cool course. Um, something to pay attention to, watch how fast the ball takes up. When this thing hits the screen, it's going. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed with the integration. It's, it's one of those things that I appreciate. I pay attention to those things. We'll check this out. My ball's going just a little right. It's going to have to clear that bunker. All right, I left that face a little open. I'll tell you what, that's a, that's a good position for a first drive. I'll take it. And that was off the hill. I got 255 out of it. Not bad. Perfect, uh, perfect stroke by the means. But it leaves us with 163, which I don't mind. All right, I know that pin isn't amazing. Tucked behind that bunker. Smaller green here in Cabo. Um, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen this course, but. That's really cool when it's surrounded by desert. One of their newer courses. I figured it would be a good one to show off. And we'll continue to do more. Let's see if we can get one up there. Oh, wasn't a bad strike. Yeah, I'll take it. Look at that. Leaves us a 17 foot putt. But remember what I said? I have two foot guineas on. So that means my putting game. I really need to uh, make it happen here. So you'll see right now, depending on your distance, where it puts you for a view. Uh, now, if we hit the menu, you can change that. And a lot of times, depending on what your feel is, so I can pop right now, and you just have to understand it's 17 feet. They kind of put you into the perspective. But I always want to show this. So if, if you feel more comfortable putting from back here to kind of get a look at the putt, you can do that. Now, I've talked about the different putting that's available. You can align it yourself. You can you know, align to break like we have here. So they give you different options. Now, depending on your simulator setup, most people uh, that we've been playing a lot, they have it aligned to break. So um, you know, even though, like a local simulator uh, company that we have here in town um, you know, that has multiple bays, they play the same way. It helps speed up play just a little bit. I mean, the goal here is, is to, to you know, get the right speed. If you're too slow or too fast, it's not going to break properly, um, but you can do manual alignment, okay? So this is 17 feet, but it's 5 inches downhill, so I'm going to play this about 12 or 13 feet. Let's see what we can do. I'll probably hit that too low. You're going to get there? Wow. Did you see how slow that rolled in the cup? I thought... That it was just going to come up short, and uh, I managed to get it there. So you guys aren't going to see the two-foot uh, putt on this one, 
um, but maybe on this hole here. I'll tell you what, uh, as I practice more and more uh, with the different software and the different launch monitors, um, it's amazing how, you know, you really get that, that touch and feel for these. It's not, it's not always there. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, man, I'm happy with putts like that all day. All right, so let's see here. This is a long par 5, pretty much straight down. You can see where I'm aiming there. Uh, so if it's 251 carry, you have bunkers to the right. So those do come into play. I'm going to try to stay out of those. I aim just a tad left, just in case I miss this thing a little right like that last one. Um, let's hope that's not the case. Once again, pay attention to how fast it takes off after it hits the screen. I'm just a big fan of that. Instantaneous. Oh, sure enough, I left it just a little open again. We could potentially have some trouble here. All right, not too bad. I'll leave us with a long shot from the rough. All right, and you know, I'm probably just going to lay up. I think that's the smart play here. I've got all kinds of, you know, different objects and everything going off over to the right or going on. Um, if we just hit a nice little five iron there, we're going to be right in front of the green. We already got our birdie on the first hole. All right, I'm happy with a nice layup. Let's just see if I can hit a decent layer here. Oh, I might have touched that. Uh, yeah, look at that. That was probably a perfect ball, but I think I actually touched that hill just a little bit uh, playing that five iron, and it kind of messed with my ball. So that, uh, that could have been a little bit my own fault there. All right, now I usually always select my clubs because when you're playing the username, um, it's going to store all that data. Now you saw that it showed a wood there. That's something I should point out. That was my own fault. I did not select the five iron that I was hitting there, okay? But I got myself a good, good shot. So that was a good example of how you may want to, um, you know, actually select your club each time. They do put statistics for your rounds in the cloud in your E6 portal, which I think is really cool. 11 feet uphill. All right. Now remember, you have a new option. You can go into your menu and you can hit your magnifying glass and look up at the green, okay, to see what's going on. All right. You can look at your bird's eye view. All right. You can go around. You can zoom down. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. All right. So um, I like that. I think it's a great feature. All right. They don't go as far as giving you the grid when you're that far out. Um, which honestly is, is probably something that uh, was intentional, um, you know, because you can't really look, go look at the break when you're playing course anyway. So I, I pointed that out, that out to someone when it first came out, and I think that that's uh, a good point. You know, you can't see the break of a green in the plant. Oh, I need to come a little left. Did I go too far? Oh, no. I smoked it. This is a 100-yard club, and I hit it 94 yards. The problem was is it was 10 feet uphill, and I just crisped that ball. And sure enough, look what I did. Blew it over top of the hole. I had myself a great opportunity there. Now I'm 55 feet with a challenge, really uh, challenging chip. Now I can see it's breaking left to right, so I might just aim this just a little bit to the right. And I'll tell you what I'll do. You can do that right here and it'll give yourself a good idea you know so 48 feet right there it's probably going to roll a little bit left but I like that I like using that eight. right where I wanted it I definitely hit that just a little too far I, I got lucky with the uphill which I was expecting um, and stopped the ball but you can see that I landed it just a little past where I probably should have. And now here we are with a par punt. See if we can. 11 feet, a couple of two inches, about 13. Think it has a chance? We made our par. We made our par. Very cool. I wanted to get that to the hole, and if you noticed, it didn't. 
It didn't. It was on the high side of the cup, not the low side, uh, because I had a little extra speed on it. All right, it didn't break. Uh, there, look at this view. Isn't that cool? I wanted to put the auto flybys on so you guys could see this uh, this course. Um, it's it's a really cool course. Now here's the tight one, uh, 235. So I could probably clear the bunker down there. See if I can get a hold of the drive. Those those first couple drives, I mean, they were all right, but um, just not hitting them, hitting them really well. See if we can get a hold of one here. Well, sure enough, you swing too hard and you miss. That's a big miss. That's a big miss. I got it 260, but we're in some trouble off to the left. I just, and you know, when, when I tend to try to swing at it, I just, you know, I, I, I you get handsy and I close it down. Um, and sure enough, now look what I have. I have a challenging approach shot, 73 yards, 16 feet downhill. So, like I said before, this is that 100 yard club. I need to chop a little off of it. Do we do here? Did I judge it correctly? Pretty darn good. With a little spin back. Come on. Seven inches from the pin. Now, I did not plan the action to bring it back that close. I'll be honest with you. I planned not to land it in around the pin, but uh, wow, we're getting lucky here. And look at this view. Very cool. Very cool. That's one thing about E6 that a lot of people have a lot of fun with is that ball action on the green. Um, now, I have had people say, hey, don't you think it's a little exaggerated? Um, I've actually talked to E6 about that. You know, they're constantly reviewing their software and algorithm and listening to feedback and everything. So, if anybody feels like that green, you know, backspin is a little heavy, um, you know, make sure you, you know, take a little snapshot of it, um, send it to them, talk about, you know, what your feelings are on that, and they are awesome. Uh, the support team is very fast. Uh, I always feel like they're working to, you know, release enhancements and improvements. Um, that magnifying glass that is now there where you can look up to the green, that's something that multiple people that I played with in an indoor league, uh, reached out and said, hey, we really would like to have some type of feature where we can look up and be able to see what we're, uh, we're getting towards. Sure enough, they released enhancement. Um, you know, that really just shows you, uh, you know, that the company is actively looking to improve their software, and I think that's really cool. Okay, less of a miss that time. Oh, less of a miss, it's still going to get me in trouble. All right, well, at least I got the distance when I have a miss like that. Carrying 262 and roll down the, the hill there a little bit. Um, yeah, just, just once again, just close that down. I mean, that's, that's not terrible. The problem I have now is, is do I really go for it? 225, I mean, I'm just off the fairway. I would have assumed that I would have been going here, you know, and then now to the front edge of that green, but it's 39 feet downhill. So, with like a 5-iron, alright, I'll select it this time and do it the proper way. I think I'm fine with the 5-iron. I think I can get it. And then hit the front of the green, and then roll up. Because the elevation makes a difference, just so you guys understand. It's not the exact carry distance. You know, if it's downhill, it plays a huge difference. That was a, that was a pretty good strike. Not gonna lie. I'll be the one. I mean, I'll take it all day long. I mean, that's that's exactly what I was trying to do. And uh, man, that, that uh, downhill gave me that just little extra carry. What do we have left? 14 feet. So this is what I'll do here for you guys. I want to show you uh, the short putt. Okay, so. I'll wrap it up here, all right? We went through four full holes, showed you guys a bunch of drives. You even got to see a couple of my, my misses, all right? Um, I, and people know that's my miss. If I'm going to miss, I swing a little too hard. I top to the left. So um, you guys got to see a little bit of a mix there, all right? 
I promise you, we'll play more. We'll do some live streams soon, and uh, we'll take you through more, and uh, you guys can see more of my driver that I've been working on. I mean, it, it's it's been decent lately. Um, a couple of my misses snuck out in, in this round. They definitely did. But hey, we can recover. It's all about recovery. So let's do this. Let's hit this, I don't know, like six feet. That's a little short. I mean, if you, if you notice how far it rolled inside, it rolls five feet. And so now we have a nine foot puck. Okay. So now let me show you what another, another like a four foot puck looks like. Not too far. Leave it outside of two. Perfect. Perfect. That's five feet, five feet, three inches. Okay. I'm ruining my score, obviously. Was this a par five? So is this actually four par? Can I stay two under? I can't. I was on it too. <laughs> how about that? All right, so now I wanted to show you guys how you can play these little two, three, four foot gimmies, uh, you know, and not play 10 foot gimmies and how well the putting works. One, you saw both of those putts. So now I'm just going to take this four feet. Here we go. In the hole. I parred the last hole and ended up staying two under, I believe. I, at Cabo. I mean, I can't complain with that. You guys will get to see another fly over here. This is a really fun course. I encourage you guys, if you're a new user, uh, if you're you know, a Foresight user that's new to E6, or you're looking at E6 and you're, you're getting it for another device, I encourage you to play it. I mean, check out the ocean in the background. Um, it takes you out near the ocean. It's a really cool course. It has elevation. Obviously, like you can see, surrounded by desert. You can get yourself in trouble. I mean, look how look how skinny these fairways are. I mean, you're in play. It's not like you're OB, but you can get inside these bushes, and let me tell you, it's it's trouble. It can be very challenging. So um, I hope this was a great example of what everybody was looking for for some more on-course play. I was able to knock it out. Uh, I promise you I'll get back into some live streams soon. been playing a lot of outdoor golf, trying to squeeze it in before the winter season gets here fast here in Michigan. It's a blink of an eye, it seems like. You know, one minute it's August, and the next minute it's snow outside. So um, we'll continue to kind of, you know, uh, progress and get some more videos going as we get towards the fall and continue coverage. I encourage you guys to comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know what you think about this video. I appreciate everyone that, that emails me. Um, it can be simple questions. It can be suggestions. Everybody's always shooting emails out, and I get back to them right away. I mean, I do my best to get back, back to you as fast as I can, so I appreciate that. And if for some reason you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. All kinds of content coming. I mean, we'll continue to bring all kinds of different coverage and, uh, you know, do things per request as much as I can as well. So, as always, thanks for watching.